Hello again. Oops, ran inside that wall. We are back in the gift. Went and got some water. We are ready to continue. A puddle, huh? Does that imply that this barrier is warm enough to melt stuff? <laughs> oh, that got me. That really got me. <laughs> you know, it is called the gift. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> I don't even need to open that again. Okay, but now what? Oh, right, right, I can do this. I forgot about this little corner. Now what, though? Ooh, maybe... No. Because that's on that side, so it wouldn't make sense to have the box on the fan. That really is quite an excessive structure. <laughs> Look at that. Just that specific region there, huh? No- nowhere to the right, only in that region on the left. How strange. Yeah, that's what I figured. That's also what I figured. Yeah, I would clear the fence otherwise. Yep. So this has to be over there. I don't think there's a reason to go in there, really. Pretty sure that would just trap us. The gift, huh? That fan is permanently installed. Yep, that doesn't help. Maybe I can do something... like this? Take connector, there we go! That's how you do it.
I like the music in this game. I hope they release the soundtrack. I haven't checked yet, though. Everything okay? It seems like something that could very quickly get out of control. You know that saying about good intentions? If we can solve problems by just making more people, how long before people just become a problem-solving tool? Aren't people already problem-solving tools? But I know what he means. That's, that's not exactly how he means it. There is something about being so long-lived is that the ideas also live a long time. There, there's, like, sayings about academia that, for, you know, in physics and all that, that for new theories to rise up and old theories to die out, you have to wait for people to die. <laughs> kind of a morbid revelation that theories are kept alive because people are still alive to champion them. And, uh, yeah, that's why term limits should be a thing. Among other reasons. There's many other reasons for term limits as well, not just that. Two-body problem. Well, that should be a lot easier than a three-body problem, right? I heard recently that they actually found a lot of solutions to the three-body problem, but I don't think they've solved it in a general sense yet. There's our ultimate goal. that. Alright. Do we need anything? Oh, okay. That's where the blue connector is. Hmm. We're probably gonna need it outside first. So let's do that. with here. Put that one back on through. Okay, yeah, this is pretty straightforward, I think. I do need to reposition things a bit, though. There we go. Oh, I just had to pick the exact wrong position for that. <laughs> there we go. Much better. Oh, I guess I have to reposition that as well. Okay. Not an issue. Oh! Uh, of course. I put all the wrong positions today. There we go. did I see on that sign? I was on autopilot for a moment there. This w oh, right, okay. Yeah, the gate's blinking to the right, but 7 8 are in this direction. And I still need to find the stars. I believe I've not found any yet. 
Yeah, zero out of two stars. The Founder Megathread. Please keep discussion of the alleged presence of the Founder at the site of the megastructure confined to this thread. I'm still in shock. I wasn't even sure the Founder was still alive. Of course she is. And now that we have reached completion day, she has sent us her secret messengers. It could still be aliens pretending to be the Founder. <laughs> it's always a possibility. It's not aliens, and if Prometheus and Pandora are her secret messengers, why has one apparently chained the other? The day of her return is imminent. So now you agree that Byron was right to want an expedition? In fact, it was the Founder's will all along? And when you said it would be wrong to even consider going to the island, you were acting against the Founder? Your word games aren't going to help you when the Founder returns. It was wonderful to hear Athena's voice again, but with all the emotion inherent this matter, we should be careful not to get swept away. I don't really understand anything yet. I can't help but wonder, if Miranda is her daughter, was Athena trying to start a new civilization? Did she abandon New Jerusalem? Yeah, based on what others told us, she does seem like a leader. Like, everybody kind of looks up to her and is, they're expecting her to be a leader, so... I guess she was, but then she walked away from that. A valid point. She had enormous responsibilities from the very beginning, and while we were family, she had too many burdens to, to ever have a private life of her own. I understand your point, but why leave Cornelius behind then? That's none of our business, fair enough. I guess they were close, right? Interesting. The plot thickens. Body replication. The technology discovered by the expedition changes everything. Every argument about how hard it is to get access to the resources necessary to create more of us goes out the window. We can create more people. 1k doesn't have to be the last. And it would be easy. Are we really going to give up just because of the goal? Energy doesn't just come from nowhere. We have no idea what the real cost behind the technology is. Personally, I agree. Besides, the goal is an ideal, not just a limit we ran into by accident. It is the will of the Founder. Yeah, but we still don't know the original context and wording or the meaning behind it. <laughs> that seems to have been lost and forgotten over time. Yeah, right. It's not necessary to share a personal belief in the Founder to understand the value of the goal. It's clear to all but the most radical that humanity needs limits, for its own sake and for the sake of the planet. You see that as if it was self-evident. It's not. You're smuggling a whole host of misanthropic ideas into the conversation under the disguise of reasonableness. Your premises are completely rotten. I believe the results of human history speak for themselves, and I find it shocking that anyone would disagree with something so obvious. Shocking that anyone would value human beings and think that maybe our ancestors could have solved their problems using their brains instead of preaching misery for all? That maybe there is some leaping point in blaming other factors beyond technology and growth? Like, I don't know, people in positions of authority preaching their self-important bleeping morality instead of trying to solve ordinary people's problems? Authority? I'm just, acad I'm just an academic. That's completely disingenuous and you know it. Your click has the mayor's ear. Click, I assure you, there's no such thing. This conversation is getting out of hand. If you can't behave, I'm shutting this thread down. Ooh, what interesting choices. These conversations are necessary, they should not be banned. This conversation is irritating, but should be allowed as a matter of principle. It would be best to close this thread until everyone calms down. Just take it to private. I don't like any of these choices, so I'm just gonna ignore that. <laughs> Minds and bodies. The founder appears to have developed a technology that prints new bodies using those particle clouds we were already familiar with. These bodies come with a protocol for instantly transferring the user's mind. I cannot sufficiently underline how mad this is. The implications would be breathtaking if we breathed. There seem to be a number of safeguards. So far, I've not been able to get this tech to work outside the puzzles. I did manage to sort of make sense of the mind transfer protocol, however, and I'm uploading all the data I've collected. It will need to be studied extensively before it can be used, but I can think of a lot of potential applications. What really grinds my ears, though, is how casually it's all deployed. It takes us ages to make a new body, and here there's a whole bunch of them doing no more than holding up platforms or standing on pressure plates. Is this all a joke? Spectacular. I don't understand what possible function this structure could have, but it's really, really impressive. 
Hold on, could that be its function? Just to be impressive? It also kind of looks like those big laser guns, you know? Yep. Somebody walked past me a moment ago. Oh, this is where this is. Okay. Oh, is that from the side of the mega structure? Right, so the triangle puzzles are probably triangles because of the mega structure, right? So not only do we need to solve a whole bunch of triangle puzzles, but we need to solve each part of the mega structure as well. So this is definitely much later in the game that we'll get to this. Looks like New Jerusalem, doesn't it? That's from the simulation. There's text here that it won't translate for me. And these are like the generators that we've seen in the lab areas. been on this path already, I think. Redshift. Whoa! Wait a moment. This is colored. Is this gonna be like a lens of some sort? How would that work? Hmm. Why is there more than one of these things? All right. Well, Over there. I don't think we can jump over this, right? Oh, we can! Ooh. We can jump over any of these, it seems. Okay, that- that answers my question from last episode, I guess. That's not exactly how I expected things to go down. Okay. So... Wait, what? Okay, so I guess that's just to allow you to get back into the puzzle. <laughs> that's- that's strange. Very strange. Oopsie. Right, well, I don't see much over there but a ladder. And I also don't see much over here but a ladder. They both go up on top of the wall there. Wait, do they? No, no, they, they, they dump onto this side, they don't go on the wall. But I think this is the only place where it makes sense to actually jump across. But then, what do we do? There's nothing over here either. Am I missing them where a connector is? I don't see a connector. Am I blind? 
There's, there's nothing over here. Yeah, this just brings us back into the center area. What am I missing? Was there something up, up above the fan that I'm missing? Okay, <laughs> I completely missed that. Well, that explains things. Here we go. This makes much more sense. this work exactly? Yeah, I can't put it on top from there. Okay. expected it to. Okay, that's why I feel like why it's called Redshift, but like... Why is the platform red? That's what I'm wondering about. Was it always red? Did I just forget? I thought it wasn't always red. That's the thing. I need to position things properly first. Ugh. Here we go. This should work. Kinda. I can reposition things a bit better this way. There we go. Did it! Did you see how 1K solved that one? No, sorry. Oh, it was really clever. Uh, that was reuse the dialogue once again. That's, that's the second time we've heard that dialogue, I mean. Strange. Let's check around behind here, just in case. Alright, that's, uh... What was this one again? The cat one? Yeah, I think this is the one that spells cat, but I still don't know what to make of it. and C are both outside, and T is inside. I wonder if that's significant. It also seems like T is a line above it, pointing somewhere. Hmm. Well, let's go do puzzle number 8, and then we'll work on the stars.
grilling party. <laughs> Okay, so one of us is gonna have to stay out here. Makes sense. Yep, that's exactly what I expected to have happen. Okay, there's another, okay. Ooh, hmm. I can't switch to that one from here, because there's a barrier in the way. That doesn't help me. Oh, I need that, right. I was wondering about that, but I, I forgot that I could turn off the barrier so easily. Uh, do I need to put it a little higher, maybe? Eh, yeah, maybe. Doesn't matter much, I don't think. Here we go. Oh, I guess I need it a little lower, actually. Oh, actually, that kind of worked, I suppose. What the? Why did you put it there? There we go. Don't need to worry about that anymore. I see. There just in, oh no, because like, I need somebody to come out of here with me, right? Ugh. There you go. I do have to leave one inside. Got a reposition. That's- that's something to consider as well. Ooh. Ooh. Huh. One does need to stay inside, after all. Right, 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 right. There's a certain order things have to be done in... And I keep forgetting it. <laughs> there we go. Do I want this to have... 
Oh, get, couldn't hurt, right? Let's just go ahead and do it. This doesn't really have any good line of sight angles to anything. Hmm. Well, let's just try this and see what happens, I suppose. Where is... Oh, it's trying to go right there. Yeah, that's, uh, not gonna work. Why is it so loud? Something. Yes, indeed. Ooh, hmm. I'm supposed to manage this, though. I think this seems pretty useful to keep. Oh, you're just barely standing on there, huh? Maybe I just leave you in there. That'll work. That'll work. Yeah, here we go. That's all I needed. Thank you. What's this? I wonder what it was like when the ancients were still here. Their world seems so... lively. Not always in a good way. Interesting times are great to read about, but rarely great to experience. That's true. But they left behind so much art and philosophy and religion. And so many strange stories. Is New Jerusalem like that? It was. In the beginning. Yeah, it seems like Athena wasn't happy with the direction of New Jerusalem. Hey, 1K. Herman? <laughs> Honestly, I think he makes people feel safe. The world beyond our walls is frightening. 
Human history is full of failures and disasters. It's easy to look at that and recoil. Herman offers a vision of the future that feels contained, manageable. Precisely. Our curiosity, our creativity, our ability to grow. Everything that made us who we are. To me, that's not worth it. Athena was always trying to understand the reality underneath what we perceive, the objective truth. That's why she was capable of leaving the simulation. And even after she was free, she never stopped trying to understand more. I suspect her research took her another step closer to understanding the truth. And such steps always challenge our conception of the universe. But that's the wonderful thing about science. We can adapt our views to the evidence. Then at least we may be able to find out what happened in New Jerusalem, why she came here, but I don't think she left the island. I think she's still here, waiting for us to make the right choices. It's hard to articulate. There just seems to be so much intent here. There has to be a reason for all this. And Athena is the only reason that makes sense. All right, let's try and figure out some of these stars, I suppose. Let's go back to that one. We'll just try walking in a straight line from it. I mean, it's pointed over here. Maybe I should go up and check around the edges of this puzzle first, actually, just while we're here. Doesn't quite line up, I don't think. See, the thing is, I, in, the, in the first level, I found the spark before I found the monument. So I don't know if that line pointing out of the monument's face was like that in the first level as well. Hmm. Okay, so it is not directly aligned. It is... ...sort of in that... ...sort of in that direction, yeah. That wasn't too far off. I do see something blue right there, is that it? Have I missed it just by not taking those steps? Something funny is that uh, most of these episodes are about 6 gigabytes each. Last episode was 2 gigabytes, or 2.6 or something like that. 
I guess all this white snow makes the video really easy to compress. <laughs> Yeah, wow, okay, I just completely missed that somehow. Yes? I used to think it was the only safe way forward. Keep things simple and under control. Now I'm not so sure that ever made sense. She's so innocent and full of wonder, it should make me want to retch, metaphorically speaking. But I'll admit, she's sort of charming. Maybe she just got sick of things breaking all the time. <laughs> I guess that is one interpretation that kind of fits if you stretch a little. Where did it go to now? Oopsie, I missed where it went. Um, I, I hope it resets because I don't see where it went. Where did it go? Oh, is it inside the puzzle? Oh... Yes, it is. Okay. So I actually do need to do the rest of this, apparently. I'm on now. That's yeah, close enough. I like this music. <laughs>
Yes! A star did it! Now I need to figure out the cat we one. We cannot return to the past, but the future can redeem all that has happened. Hmm. They described these things as islands, but they seem more like just parts of the mountain top. I'm guessing, obviously, this thing is the uh, big thing in the center. Then, so we need to go to the far side first. Wait a minute. But this path is on the wrong side, isn't it? I don't think there's a path around that side. Maybe maybe it's rotated? Maybe it's this? I, I don't know. I'm still not even sure what to do in the puzzles either. I guess we'll see what we can do. So I don't think it's a laser box, right? I didn't see any connectors in the air or anything. I mean, I can take a peek over there. Taking the hard way to get there. All oh, right, this is a triangle puzzle. I think this is the first one I did, right? Okay, I was confused by the icon here pointing to the right, but I think the actual structure points to the left. So yeah, this is flipped from how I'm currently viewing it. Which means we orient ourselves this way. Are these puzzles or...? I see how it matches up with the paths. Uh, kinda. It's not something where it's like a switch on the back of the sign again, right? mess now. Oh, I'm gonna have to have a difficult time getting back up there. Can I climb this? Not quite. Oh, maybe? No. Okay, I can get up kinda here, maybe? Okay, that works. <laughs> oh! Okay. So I am reading the map correctly. Kinda. See. Pattern is already solved. Oh, nice! So it just straight up confirms it. 
Okay, okay. Alright, next is... opposite side from where I am now. Let's go there. We really need, like, a super running speed or something. <laughs> this is... very slow, considering how large these levels are. Two puzzles are next to each other. That's these, right? I got there before at some point, didn't I? By climbing on cliffs and such. I had to go around from the other side there, I think. Okay, this can work. Here we go! This is the A, right? Yes. Excuse me. Pattern is already solved. Excellent. Uh... Okay, next up is... Alright. In that direction. Probably that one. Which conveniently leaves us right next to that. It's gonna be inside, maybe? Alright, let me- let me orient myself, so... Inside here somewhere? Maybe? Or maybe on the outside on that side? I mean, I'm assuming it- because the tea is- in oh, no! It's still outside, so why- Why is the tea inside, then? That's strange. There we go. You can actually see it happening because we're close enough to it. <laughs> there we go. If the fool persisted in his foolishness, would he become wise? Interesting things to ponder. There's probably some, like, human artifacts that I could find by going all the way around the shoreline. 
but uh, I'm not gonna bother with that. I think we're mostly done here, or entirely done. Uh, where's my path back up again? Over here somewhere? Yeah, over here. Alright. Join me for the next episode where we will go to the tower.